What's up, guys? I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review, and I, I I just saw, just wrapped up seeing the new Charlie's Angels, directed by Elizabeth Banks. And um, I could have waited, honestly. I could have waited. And I did wait. It came out like two weeks ago. Um, but it, it, it really, I don't believe... The, this version of Charlie's Angels, I don't think that it really caught the essence of, of Charlie's Angels, to be honest. I don't think that it understands, I don't think this new movie understands what Charlie's Angels is. So the, the original show in the 70s, it was about these, you know, these sexy girls fighting crime. It was very tongue in cheek. It was very silly. Um, it was a lot of fun. The reboot. With uh, Cameron Diaz, um, Drew Barrymore, Lucy Liu, Bill Murray, even its sequel, um, which I think um, B- Bill Murray was not in the sequel. It was uh, Bernie Mac, I think, that played Bosley in the sequel, right? Am I remembering that, rem- remembering that right? Um, so those two movies, they were also very tongue-in-cheek, very silly, self-referential um, had some pop culture gags in there. Drew Barrymore was dating Tom Green at the time, and he showed up in the movies and did his shtick. It was all fit. It was all very silly. And there's even a television show reboot a few a few years ago that I I only watched like one episode of. I didn't care for it, but I didn't care for it not because it didn't grasp what Charlie's Angels is. I just didn't care for it. By the way, those two movies with uh, Cameron Diaz, those were good, legit. I like them. I have them on Blu-ray. They're, they're good movies. Um, not great by any means, mind you, but they're fun. They're fun. They're mindless, and you plug them in, and you watch hot girls kicking butt, and it's fun. Um, this one, it just didn't understand what Charlie's Angels is. I always say I don't mind a political or social message as long as it doesn't get in, in the way of the storytelling. All right? Uh, the story has to come first. Story comes before characters. Story comes before any kind of political or social agenda. Story comes first. It has to. I don't care whether that that political or social message is conservative. I don't care if it's liberal. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I think that these messages create conversation, and I think that's great. That's one of the things I love about movies and TV is it can start conversation. But the story has to come first. And in this new Charlie's Angels, the story did not come first at all. It was, and make no mistake, guys, the original show, as well as the the two movies with Cameron Diaz, they were about female empowerment. They were about female empowerment. The women were the heroes of the story, and they were the ones who... Who were kicking butt. Guys, the women were even uh, the heroes, the villains of the story in those two movies. Um, the first movie, Kelly Lynch was the villain. The second movie, Drew Barry, not Drew Barrymore, um, uh, Demi Moore was the villain. All right. So, so in these movies, you've got females being empowered on all sides of the spectrum. There was, this movie was everything wrong with female empowerment today. All right. Everything wrong with it. And make no mistake. I'm a married man. I've got a daughter. I've got a daughter who can freaking do anything. I don't care. She's five. Her birthday's tomorrow. She is, she's, she's my number one. All right. She's my number one. And, and there, there's no human being on this planet, save my son and my, my wife that I've got affections for like, like my daughter. And so, so no, <laughs> nobody better accuse me of not being pro female <laughs> because there's nothing that my daughter isn't going to be capable of one day. And I want her to have every opportunity guys. I loved wonder woman, captain Marvel. I love the fact that she has these female superheroes that she can idolize now and look up to. <clears throat> So nobody can accuse me of being anti-female. That being said, there is a toxic element in in the in feminism today. And somebody's honking a horn like a dummy. There is a toxic I'm in a parking lot, by the way, guys. 
just so we know. But there is a toxic element in feminism today where it's not enough that women are equal to men. They have to be superior to men. The new Ghostbusters was very guilty of this. Every man in that movie was a flipping idiot. Every man in that movie was portrayed as a moron. Their assistant, the mayor, literally every male in that movie was a moron. And they did that to elevate the women. That's toxic. That's not, that's not good for storytelling. And that's kind of what we had here in the Charlie's Angels movie. We had a movie that took itself far too seriously, far too seriously. Um, so that the women looked superior. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know if any, if, if you guys can know what I'm talking about, but. But yeah, it, it, it took, it missed every component of what makes Charlie's Angels, Charlie's Angels. All right. It was not tongue in cheek. It was not fun. There were some fun action sequences to be sure, but it didn't have that, that, um, that silly spirit to it that Charlie's Angels should have. Charlie's Angels is a silly concept and it, it forego, it, for, it foregone any kind of silliness, any kind of, of, of whimsy fun to take itself way too seriously as, more or less an action spy thriller. And that that's not Charlie's Angels. It's not Charlie's Angels. So this is a movie that missed the spirit of what Charlie's Angels are. I don't know if it's Elizabeth Banks' fault. I don't know if it's the writer's fault, the studio's fault. I don't know whose fault it is, but somebody missed the spirit. Somebody missed the, the core of what Charlie's Angels is. So this was not a good movie. Had a couple fun sequences. Yes, it did. It had a couple fun sequences, um, but it was not a good movie. I cannot give this movie better than a D. Um, so I just wanted, I wanted to get up and leave their parts of it. It just was really kind of boring. Um, say, save for the fun action sequences, which again, there were, there were a few of those, but for the most part, it was kind of boring. And it just, it was, um, it was a, 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 a spy thriller. It was a, it was a poor spy thriller with the Charlie's Angels name attached to it. And without the name attached to it, it might have been a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit better. But having that name attached to it has certain connotations, meaning it's going to be silly. It's going to be fun. It's going to have these, it's going to have these elements to it that this movie just didn't have. So that's my take on Charlie's Angels 2019. Have you seen it? If so, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, thank you for being here at the OQ Review, where we talk about all of the geek nerdy stuff we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you later. Every single day